Hello, hockey fans. This is Dan Rusinowski. You're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Matt, obviously, you weren't, this building wasn't here when you moved here to the desert. It was a shark, but did you have any surreal feelings coming back, stepping onto that ice, knowing that this has been built after, since your last time you were here? Yeah, it's a pretty amazing facility. Uh, like you said, it wasn't here when I was here, and there have been a lot of changes, like Calder's and um, all the different different ranks now that, that this place has. It's really cool to see how this place has grown, and um, yeah, it's an amazing facility, and um, it's pretty impressive. Touching on that, we talked to, to Reese Lalbach, he was also <coughs> playing for the junior ranks. He said he was playing 16s when you were on the 14s here. He said that everybody knew who you were, and they were always working on stuff. Were you kind of aware of how popular you were getting just in the San Jose area while you were here? No, I had no idea. I didn't even go to school here, so I I, uh, I didn't really make those connections. I mean, my group was pretty much my team while I was here. I, I was I was homeschooled, so um, no, I, I I had no idea. I was the, I'm sorry, I, was, I don't want to ask you about your decision or anything like that. Just focus on the game today. Just first time, you know, here playing in San Jose in front of this crowd. What was that feeling like just to see the ovation when you first stepped on on the ice? Obviously, when you got your first point, just what was it like for you just going through and seeing what it could be like to play here? Oh, it's amazing. Obviously, there's a lot of excitement here. And, uh, I mean, with the group we have, with the guys you've already interviewed, and um, the, the group we have in that locker room, um, a lot of young guys, and we're growing here together. So it's a super exciting time, and um, I'm thrilled to see where this thing goes. Now that it's, uh, you know, it's over, uh, can you just broad question, just in terms of what these three days have been like for you. I mean, I'm sure you've been meeting a lot more people on top of the people that you already know within the Sharks, but, you know, that, signing all sorts of autographs, uh, whatever, just just generally, what's these three days have been like for you? It's been amazing, like you said, uh, meeting all the staff, I mean, the draft was, was very busy and I met a lot of people and um, a lot of it I forget. So actually getting here and, and uh, putting names to faces and really creating that relationship is really cool. And I mean, creating that relationship with the fans as well. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm just excited and um, yeah, it, it's going to be pretty cool. Has it felt at all overwhelming? Um, or no? No, I mean, you got to put it all in perspective. Like, I mean, this is this is why why we play. We uh, we love the game and um, we try to be the best we can be. And um, I mean, this is this is what we've been dreaming of ever since we were little kids to get to this level and um, play in the NHL one day. So um, I feel like you, I'm, we're just trying to enjoy it, me and and our uh, whole group and. Um, yeah, I feel like we're all just we're all just having fun with it. How nice is it now that um, you know lottery is over, combine is over, draft is over, nothing about McCaffrey? So do you just focus on hockey now? Yeah, I mean that that was an amazing experience with the draft of the sphere, the combine. Um, great experiences, stuff that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Everyone, not a lot of guys go through it, and uh, when you do go through it, it's I mean it's part of your introduction into the NHL. So um, something I'll remember, but um, it's definitely nice to move past that and and now just get ready, build build to, towards our goal, and um, yeah, build with these guys. A lot of the tension, obviously, you've got to deal with. Um, Will. Sorry about that. My bad. Um, Will maybe not to say he's gotten lost in it, but the, the day like today and what we saw at you know BC last year show that this this cat's pretty darn good. Talk about Will. Will Smith. Yeah. Oh, I mean I've known that for the last couple of years. I've, I've played against <laughs> him and had to chase him around. So. I mean, every time he played against us, he always he always let us up. So um, no, I mean I've known that for a while, um, playing against them in whatever leagues, watching them. Um, I mean, you see him out there just doing the same things, and um, he's a special player and um, a special person as well. Uh, so we have Will Smith. It will be nice to uh, kind of move on from a friendly competition to teammates here now soon. Yeah, it'll be really nice. I mean, like like I just said, um, been been competing against them a lot. So to be able to play with them now will be will be pretty fun. 
you showed a little bit of chemistry with Casper Holtzman. Uh, what do you thought of saw in him? You know that shot of his and how kind of devastating that shot can be. Oh, I mean, you see you see the highlights, but to actually be on the ice with them and see a shot, it's it's pretty ridiculous. So. Um, no, we, we were obviously in the same group, same team. We've been training together for the last couple of days, and um, to get to know him as well, he's a pretty funny kid. So, um, I mean, I feel like just someone I've got to know pretty well here. And um, again, he's he's one of those guys that's just a special player with a with a special gift. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool to see. Take one more, and then John McCarthy's here to you guys. When you guys were making that comeback today. What was Joe Thornton saying to you guys on the bench there? <laughs> he was more on the D side, so I didn't really oh. see. But he was just—he uh, was always just bringing the energy, like always, and um, he was having fun with it, and just keeping the keeping the mood light. And um, yeah, I, I think it was just pretty funny. He's just—he's always talking, always, always trying to get the boys going. So. That's the most fun part of camp those last five minutes there. Oh, maybe. I mean, that was pretty crazy. Marlo say anything, man? Huh? Did Marlo say anything to you since he was with the forwards? Uh, I mean, not much. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, Sharks now. analyst Brett Hedekin for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please give a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.